Hello, my name is Henry and today I'm going to be talking about how I got a 9 in GCC Computer Science and how you can do the same. So just for a bit of context for those that are new here, I got all 9s in my GCSEs and I'm just trying to release as many videos as I can to help and explain how I did that. So please subscribe and leave a like now and leave any comments for video suggestions or just general advice and I will answer all of them. So. A bit of background for computer science. I was always quite good at computer science. It was one of my stronger subjects, um, kind of throughout secondary school. But I wasn't, I wasn't like a nine level going into year eleven. I was quite, I was above average at computer science, but not kind of crazy high level. So, my first piece of advice would be the spreadsheet. So I'm going to show you that in a second on my. Um, laptop and this spreadsheet I've talked about it before in quite a lot of my videos it basically allowed me to rank um, every topic of each subject so this kind of let me see what I needed to revise so it's really important that you do this or I'd recommend it it's really important that you know where your weak spots are so that you can revise your weak spots and therefore improve your revision and improve your subjects so I'm going to show you that now and this is available to buy to those of you who can't make it. Um, it's £15 and I will personalise it for you so I'll do all your subjects. If you just email me with your exam boards, um, subjects, I'll personalise it and create it for you. Alternatively you could make it um, but I understand like time's running out and stuff and it's difficult for some people. Um, and it is... It doesn't really work for English and stuff like that, but it does work for most subjects. So I'll show you that now. So here is a sample from my computer science spreadsheet. I did this for every topic. So as you can see, it says section one to the under the topic section. Um, and it urgency is ranked. So if it's a one, then it's low. I'm very good at it. I don't need to revise it. If it's a three, it's an urgent priority. So this allows me to see, as you can see here, clearly what I need to revise. So I'd use this to kind of show me what I needed to prioritise in computer science. And the spreadsheet was useful then because that let me target my revision a bit more. And that's really useful for people in year 11 now who have less time. Um, I would recommend doing that with all your subjects, actually. Apart from English, it was difficult for. Uh, and history, I found a bit more. Those kind of subjects, it was a little bit more difficult for. But that would be my first piece of advice is use a spreadsheet. Then... Seneca so now it's about kind of improving what you don't know and and stuff like that and for computer science I use Seneca so I'm going to be doing a Seneca video at some point but I'm just trying to talk about my subjects and stuff first so I just went through all of the Senecas at one point or another um, throughout the year I went through every topic kind of multiple times throughout the year but with two months left now, I would kind of recommend going through everything at least once, specifically the things you're worst at, but I would kind of do each topic at a time. So go through one topic at a time to break it down into chunks. And that just helps with basic knowledge in computer science, um, revision, stuff like that. It's, it's really good for that. So then there's other methods, there's YouTube videos. I'm going to link a couple YouTube channels that I watched. Um, and I'd watch YouTube videos on things I didn't understand because computer science can be a bit technical. Um, it's really important you un try and understand things. So watch these YouTube videos, interact with it, and just Google and make sure you're focused on things that, once again, you don't know. That's really important. Then I would do a lot of practice questions. So computer science isn't like English or something where there's massive essays to write. So it's actually quite good. You can just do loads of practice questions and they often repeat themselves. The, the content in computer science is quite small. There's not a crazy amount to learn. So if you get really good at these practice questions, like my teacher just gave us huge packs of them. Maybe you can ask your teacher for them, past papers, stuff like that. Just keep going over them again and again, and the same questions will crop up. So I'd recommend doing a lot of past papers in computer science and past questions because they kind of repeat themselves. Um, then for paper two, this is what I know a lot of people struggle with is coding. Um, that's what paper two is mainly about. A lot of it's about coding and the more technical stuff. So, I, well not the more technical stuff actually because it's computer science, but I um, was actually quite good at that naturally, coding, or, or I had been coding for a while. But my advice for that would be similar, so it would be YouTube, YouTube, you can YouTube lots of coding stuff, 
Um, there are some coding challenges which you can do as well for practice of your coding skills, which I'll link these in the description as well. I did a couple of them and they definitely helped me. Uh, there's some you can get magazines on things like Python just to help try and learn that, which I did actually use to read a couple of them. Um, but overall, I would say YouTube videos for the actual Python coding and then just practice again if you can. Um, kind of practice for the questions, so practice papers. And this also helps because once again, it's similar questions that come up. There's only a small amount of things you actually need to be able to code. And if you can kind of get good at that, then that really helps. So in summary, for coding, I would just YouTube. And there, there are loads and loads of videos of people in your coding language that you um, choose to do. There's loads of examples of people explaining how to do every single specific thing. So I'll link some coding challenges in there too. And just take a look at them, see if you can do a couple of coding challenges. And yeah, that would be my overall computer science advice. And it's quite similar in terms of the fundamentals to most of my advice, which is find a way to know what you're bad at target what you're bad at specifically and obviously use Seneca to get a broad overview and then do lots of practice questions. So I hope that helps. Um, I will be doing other videos. I've, I've got DT that I'm going to release, a language video and a couple others. So please leave any comments if you have any more questions and I'm happy to answer them and any video suggestions, anything like that or just general revision comments. And yeah, I hope that helped. So thank you.